Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. On this episode, I'm going to do what I promised. We started the arrow last episode. This episode, I'm actually going to put a bunch of yarn up into here, probably mount the camera into here somewhere, uh, maybe even into here. I don't know. I've got to kind of see. I have to play around with kind of feeling where the best angle is going to be. And then we'll throw some yarn up under the nose and the camera mount up under there so we can see what the yarn's doing there. I'm just curious to see what the air, you know, does it come straight up out of here and really kind of mess up the airflow? I don't know. So that's why we're going to play with this. Um, see what it's doing. I also, just so you know, I made a cover for the engine. So uh, this is what I've got. I just kind of finished cutting it. So I'm going to buff it here in a little bit. Uh, so let's throw some water on. So you can see that's going to be the cover for the uh, engine. So to kind of clean up that Gen 3 coat. It actually looks pretty good. I would love to have bent these sides down a little bit, but then it hits things. So I'm just kind of flat, bent down in front. It is what it is. So follow along. Let me get some yarn on camera mounted. Because so I'm Go getting up to speed back. here. Um, you can see the yarn start to do some crazy things. So if you look at the yarn on the uh, front end of the nose uh, to your left, um, that looks like it's pretty well attached. Uh, you know, the yarn's kind of hitting that front little lip before it goes over the opening in the hood, bouncing around a little bit, but not bad. Um, you know, the yarn that's on the back edge of the opening of the hood, it lays pretty flat. You can say there's a lot of stuff going on there. It's laying flat on the flat part there, but then once it gets up over the edge of the hood, it's, it's laying down, but it's definitely bouncing around. So not too bad. What the shocking part was, if you look down inside the opening, you see the yarn. I take some to the front of the oil cooler, uh, power steering cooler, and then again to the actual aluminum there. And that's getting sucked right up under the hood. Uh, I think that's because there's a gap there of about uh, 600 thousandths of an inch. So what I can do is I'll show you how I fix that uh, right away. So Because that's definitely an issue. So all that air is getting sucked up, up into the engine. Um, instead of being exhausted out the top. So uh, let me show you my next little video here and we'll show you how I solved that problem. So one of my first observations with the yarn is that I am sticking a whole bunch of air back up into here. Um, you know, cause you got this gap, so the air's coming up into here and then it's just getting jammed right up there getting out all over the engine compartment. So not good. You got a big high pressure zone then underneath the hood. So I want to stop that. So let me show you what we've done to fix that. Uh, that was pretty quick and easy and I'll show everybody what can be done. So let's pop this hood open and what I've used, voila, this is the adhesive uh, rear hatch and the gap's about 600 thou. This stuff's about 650. So it's just enough to keep the air from jamming up in there. I'm still gonna get just a little bit around this edge, but I'm not really sure how to seal that. It definitely doesn't seal into this. This is probably gotta be bent forward or something, but I'm not going down that road. So we just put that strip across. That'll keep air from getting up inside of here. So well, give it a shot, huh? But uh, that solved problem, arrow problem number one. So we're gonna clean this car up. We're gonna put a bunch of yarn underneath and do it again. Uh, driving anywhere from 50 to 65, depending on traffic. A lot of traffic, uh, 4th of July weekend. So uh, let me uh, swap camera spots. And so this going. is interesting. So if you look, you can see some crazy stuff going on here. Uh, the yarn that is on the top, which is on the AC condenser, uh, I thought that would kind of be sucked into the radiator, but instead it's all over the place, mostly going to the side. Um, I thought maybe it would go straight down, but maybe that front arrow uh, lip I put on is causing that not to go straight down, causing the air to rush around the sides instead of building a higher pressure zone in front of the radiator. I don't know. Um, I think this is going to take some more videos to kind of figure out exactly what is going on here. Because uh, if you look closely, you can see uh, those upper yarns. And then you've got the yarns coming off the front edge of the nose uh, that are all over the place. And the ones that are on the back edge of that uh, bottom panel of the nose, those are actually going backwards. Uh, go figure. So I have more investigation needed on this. Okay, so I've done both drives. Arrow up here, arrow down here. Now I gotta go in, um, we'll edit these down because they're about 15 minute runs each way. By the time I go down highway one, hang a Yui, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But what I did notice, and this is really weird, my oil temps are up 25 degrees 
So obviously I'm blocking a lot of air from going underneath the car. It's not getting around that oil pan, which is actually good because my oil temps with that Coyote with no oil cooler were always running like 150 on the highway cruising. Now I'm at 175. Um, shocking, actually, 25 degree difference. Uh, kind of floored by that. So it shows me I'm stopping a lot of airflow underneath that car. Good, bad, I don't know. Let's go in, look at the data and uh, throw it on up.